Hello friends, welcome back to the student blog. Uh, this is for VMA Horizon training sessions and in this, uh, this is the part of uh, VM Horizon training and uh, we are in a dynamic endpoint manager uh, topic uh, where uh, we are looking at uh, getting started managing the user environment. So, uh, like we will be enabling the easy start feature in our DEM console. So, we will be working on this, working on uh, like uh, working in the console, uh, DEM console today. So, for that, like uh, uh, we need to log into the server where we have installed our DEM console. So, this is the server uh, which we, uh, where I installed my console. So by default, uh, DM does not manage any Windows applications or environment settings after we install it. Uh, that 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 we should remember that. So uh, we must specify which application and settings uh, to manage. Though this approach takes a little more uh, work up front, this solution has several Im several important benefits. So there's are like uh, prevents excessive profile growth and profile corruption, uh, enable user settings to roam across uh, uh, Windows versions, gives administrators uh, 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 <coughs> granular control to manage as much as little of the user experience as needed. So <coughs> generally like uh, the easy start feature instantly adds many common windows applications including several version of microsoft office so to the yellow list of the applications managed by dm so many windows environment settings are also added by easy start so we can then easily select an application or windows get setting to review and change the default settings so like <coughs> for that like already we have we are logged in here so this is the DEM console and here uh, you are able to see couple of icons here we will be working on these uh, in our um, upcoming videos and this is the one which we are going to work on this so before that uh, let's uh, let's see the our shared folders user profiles uh, this we we saw it in our previous video and uh, TEM configuration. So this is the this is the place where the DEM configuration files will be loaded, and this is the configuration file for the applications. If you open it, uh, there is nothing configured till now. It's just plain. So and if you go to general, uh, there is it's empty box. So once we configure the easy start, uh, we'll be able to see the things uh, adding it adding to the to this folder. So let me pull it here okay so so this is the folder uh, sorry this is the this is the um, what do you call it? this is the console and we'll be working on it so what we'll do is like we'll click on easy start and here we are able to see the default configurations uh, for ms office 2003 2007 10 13 16 so we'll select 2016 and 13 in next versions you will be able to see office 365 also so we'll click ok so now it's you are able to see the folders getting added to the general folder uh, uh, so now we can read this like uh, installation is successful you can now explore items in the personalization uh, user environment and conditional set uh, so click ok and there we go we are able to see all the defaults so if you see here acrobat reader uh, so calculator all stuff whatever user like whenever he logs off so that data will be saved uh, the application settings will be s saved so so <coughs> now the, like like as we said uh, uh, like going forward we'll be working more on this and um, if you see in the general exp uh, applications like if you open this like you can see the icons like acrobat uh, dot icon like this is the uh, related to the all the default uh, folders which like the icons you are able to see and configuration setting files you are able to see here and uh, flex repository uh, log on everything like even you can see settings here 
so a couple of options uh, like, like folders created with all uh, um, uh, default settings and even you can see the windows settings here where uh, uh, like you can see like lot of uh, things available icons and configuration settings so we'll be working on this going forward so and uh, uh, for example like uh, uh, notepad like when user put it on your desktop icon it will be available when user log off and log into another another any uh, any any desktop so for now we'll stop this video this is uh, pretty simple to configure and uh, in our next videos we'll be working more on these uh, so whenever user log off his data will be available on uh, available as it is uh, when he logs into different uh, pda or rds server so that's all about this and uh, uh, like we'll stop for now thanks for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe and for any suggestions and queries please uh, reach out to me on vstudentblog at the rate gmail.com thank you bye bye